Everything things just a little bit off this weekend. One, we're racing in the night, but we're staying on European time, which means the first practice session is pretty much irrelevant. But then again, it was still a very interesting Friday at the Singapore Grand Prix. The European season is long since done. Welcome to the first flyaway of the year. It's round 15, the Singapore Grand Prix at the Marina Bay Street Circuit. It's our 12th visit to this impressive facility. It's a city street circuit by day, by night. It is Formula 1's first official night race. And it stops as round 15 on this incredible season, just a week's time, and then we have the Russian Grand Prix. Japan in two weeks' time, well, that's going to be absolutely spectacular as we kick off and we're off to Mexico, United States, Brazil, and all riding out in Abu Dhabi on December the 1st. Lewis Hamilton leads the Drivers' Championship. He is a whopper in front of Valtteri Bottas. 284 points to 221. It's now a question of if Lewis Hamilton will win the title. It's a question when he will win his sixth Drivers' Championship. The real interest is the battle for third place between Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. Both the other winners of this season, of course. Verstappen winning two of the last six races, Leclerc winning two of the last four. He has been on fire, Leclerc, in the past few weeks, with victory at the Italian Grand Prix, putting him well ahead of his teammate of Sebastian Vettel, who's in fifth place on 169 points. Almost 100 back, that's Pierre Gasly in the Toro Rosso now in sixth place. Don't expect him to move any further up in the title this season, though. Carlos Sainz, therefore, should take over sixth spot in the championship. What a great year that would be for McLaren to be best of the rest. Ricardo is eighth on 34. He's level with Alexander Albon in the Red Bull. Danny Kvyat rounds out the top 10 on just 33 points. 11th and 12th, they're level. Huckenberg and Raikkonen on 31 points. It is the battle for 8th in the title that is definitely going to be going on until the end of the year. 12th place, well, that's Raikkonen. 13th for Sergio Perez on 27. Lando Norris on 14th on 25 points. Stroll is 15th on 19. Magnussen just one point back. From 8th all the way to 16th is the battle we're going to see for the remainder of the year. Roman Grosjean looking to stay on for another year at Haas. He's only got 8 points to his name. Germanazzi on 3. Kubica announcing his retirement from Formula 1 once again at the end of the year. He's only on 1 point. And George Russell still the only driver with no points on the board. In terms of the Constructors' Championship, well, Mercedes lead the way. 505 points. By this time in Mexico, they should be the Constructors' Champions. Ferrari only on 351, Red Bull on 266. Expect the battle between McLaren and Renault, followed by Toro Rosso, Racing Point, and Alfa Romeo, and even Haas, to be the watch at the end of the year. It is incredibly close, but Williams still in 10th on one point. It's the 2019 Singapore Grand Prix, and it's due to be an absolute classic. Hello everybody and welcome to the Friday practice review for the 2019 Singapore Grand Prix. An interesting Friday at the Marina Bay Street Circuit. Pre-practice one, as is with FP3, they're both pretty much irrelevant. But FP2 was where we really saw the action and everyone getting their teeth well into the weekend. We'll start off though with the first practice report which saw Red Bull's Max Verstappen just lead uh, Ferrari Sebastian Vettel across the line. A 142.59 for Verstappen. Uh, he was a tenth and a half clear of Vettel in second place. Hamilton was third, Bottas fourth and Albon in fifth place for Red Bull. So Red Bull really dominating in the top five at the moment. It was mixed fortunes for Ferrari, second place for Vettel, but a problem with Charles Leclerc with being stuck in fourth gear with 30 minutes to go really put him out of the session. And not really great start to the weekend for the driver who's won the last two Grand Prix, Belgium and Italy. Ferrari on a good form, Sebastian Vettel not, of course, after what happened in Italy. And he's if he gets he's on nine penalty points now, so if he gets three more. That's it. Goodbye. He is out for one Grand Prix with a race ban, much like we saw with Ragunathan in a Formula 2 earlier on in the season. But, as I said, uh, it was interesting to know that the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton was 6-6-6 six, six, six off the pace of uh, Max Verstappen. So just a little bit of fun there as of last week. Of course, it was Friday the, th the 13th. Uh, reliability issues, as I said, again, struck Ferrari with Leclerc. 
but uh, it was just after Vettel put in his be personal best lap, so highs and lows at Ferrari. Uh, he ended up 19th and failed to sell a flying lap in the soft compound tyres, of course. And in a fortunate turn for the team, uh, as a, to take the test testing the barge board front wing end plate, it's more like a scoop uh, on the front wing on either side. So uh, like a sh like a shovel, but a snow plough, so a snow shovel, effectively, uh, on either side of the front wing, just to see if he gets some drag at this circuit. For Mercedes, it was a cruel snap of oversteer that ended Valtteri Bottas' first session, just coming out of turn 19 after the bridge section where Piquet spun back in 2008. He put it into the wall, and it was an easy, it's an easy to do, because this Mercedes this year, it's very tail-happy. So as soon as he flicked the car uh, from the uh, left to the right, the car slid out and into the wall, breaking the front suspension off. Easy to do definitely not his fault but that did bring out the red flag as well we're just a few minutes after Charles Leclerc retired the Finn ended fourth uh, a second off the pace ahead of Alexander Albon Hulkenberg uh, confident that he will remain in Formula 1 next season despite there not being any seat other than Williams available there are talks is he going to go to Alfa Romeo in replace of Antonio Giovinazzi but Alfa are going to let Alfa let that one go so He's pretty much boxed in. Hawkenberg doesn't say says he doesn't want to go to Williams. Williams says he want they want Latifi, but Latifi hasn't got enough super points to get into Formula One at the moment, so it's all pretty much he said, she said at the moment. So we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, right now Hawkenberg without a drive for the twenty twenty season as well. He did. He finished sixth for Renault. He was three tenths behind Albon and ahead of the McLaren pair of Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. Uh, Carlos Sainz actually nearly collided with Lewis Hamilton early on in the session, and Hamilton blocked his late effort to set a flying lap as well. So uh, already these two didn't need to race, but they were racing, and again it happened in free practice too as well. So we'll stay tuned for that one in a minute. P9 Toro Rosso, Danny Kvyat, his teammate Pierre Gasly rounded out the top ten. Uh, the ten. Top 10 was separated by 2.118 seconds, more than usual. Of course, with FP1 not really being a key session, they're just using it sort of flex the muscles and get it in for FP2. Danny Ricardo, whole session on the soft tyre, like he's been a teammate, but finished to P11, ahead of uh, Romain Grosjean, uh, who's been reassigned along with his teammate for 2020 in the house. He was 12th. Uh, teams, uh, new upgrade packages, Alfa Romeo, Giovinazzi and Raikkonen 13 and 14, they've got new upgrades on their car as well, I expect them to see them coming in mainly in a, a normal circuit next weekend in Russia and following two weeks in Japan uh, racing points, well, Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez 15th and 18th unfortunately, so they had a pretty much of a shocker at the first session, Robert Kubitz to 17th 7 tenths faster than his Williams teammates, George Russell, who rounded out the standings 3.734 seconds off of the time. Unbelievable uh, sector times. So let's take a look then at the full FP1 times. So Max Verstappen tops the first practice session here in the Singapore Grand Prix at 140.259. Sebastian Vettel is second on a 140.426. Lewis Hamilton third on a 140.925. Marty Bottas is fourth at 141.336. Alexander Albon is in fifth at 141.467. Nico Hulkenberg is sixth at 141.812. Carlos Sainz is seventh at 141.966. Lando Norris in eighth at 142.180. Danny Kimiad is in ninth at 142.305. Pierre Gasly rounds out the top ten at 142.377. Danny Ricciardo is eleventh on a 142.527. Romain Grosjean 12th to 142.630. Antonio Giovinazzi 13th to 142.677. Kimi Raikkonen 14th to 142.786. Lance Stroll 15th to 142.791. Kevin Atkinson 16th to 143.150. Bobby Kibitza 17th to 143.336. Then it's Sergio Perez 18th to 143.369. Charles Leclerc 19th on a 143.618. And George Russell 20th on a 143.993. Let's move on then to the second practice report. It was a little bit more light-hearted as the nights drew in at Singapore. We got back to some real running for Formula One. Lewis Hamilton led the second practice session by just over a tenth and a half to Max Verstappen. Uh, Sebastian Vettel third as Ferrari's drivers got valuable running in the night time. 
at Marina Bay. Hamilton set the early pace on medium tyres. His times were 139.991, uh, reflecting not only Mercedes' uh, big development here in Singapore, but that they finally put that element of this is their bogey circuit this is where they're always going to go wrong seems to be filling out the window but then again it's only friday a lot more can tell uh but lewis hamilton as well even though he topped the session uh he did receive a fine and the team did as well because his fuel was kept 11 degrees below the actual uh, actual air temperature so the rules state that the, the fuel is allowed to be 10 degrees only cooler than what the temperature is at that time. So it's a confusing rule, I know. But his was at 11, not at 10. When the, when the air temperature changed before the session, out he goes. So a fine was all he was given. As it's getting very chilly here in our UK studio, I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, it may still be set in September, but uh, cold air. September song, I believe they call it, isn't it? God, it's cold. Uh, moving on as well, even the top five, Hamilton, Verstappen, Vettel, Bottas and Albon once again rounding out the top five as uh, I desperately want a jacket. Uh, there are uh, there's a few qualifying runs going on. Hamilton improved to a 138.773 on the soft tyres to eclipse Verstappen, who led Vettel uh, as well in third place. Bottas will have on fifth, as I said. Uh, crashing out in FP1, Bottas had to get some good running in the second session. He did so as Mercedes opted to put the fin and uh, his teammate Hamilton on the split strategies. Bottas ended the session with a long run on the medium tyres. The Brit, however, Lewis Hamilton doing the same, but on the soft compound tyres. Only just behind the slower uh, Mercedes was Red Bull Alexander Albon, who lost his front wing early on the session. He locked up at the Singapore Sling at Turn 10, went straight onto the wall, reversed out. Uh, lots of a front wing there, and it's so hard to get replacements now that we're outside of Europe. Also, a time in FP1 from Charles Leclerc. He shrugged off uh, what happened in FP1 and got back off there as well. Uh, but he was in you know, sixth place and just a second and a half behind of Hamilton. And both Ferraris were frustrated by traffic at separate incidents on their runs. Uh, but it was Sainz, who was only a tenth slower than Leclerc, ahead of Renault rival Nico Hulkenberg. Sainz, uh, his teammate Norris, was ninth. Uh, a few extra days in Singapore get to adjust to the time differences, Landers. That's why he hasn't been on uh, Twitch. Rounding out the top ten, Pierre Gasly edged out his teammate, Danny Kvyat. Only a second and a half split to Hulkenberg P8 from the teammate of Ricardo in P12. Interesting enough, Hamilton and Sainz did meet again on the track in FP2. Hamilton came on the radio saying, no need to race me at all. Hamilton was doing a long race run. Sainz just come out the pit lane to start it. So Sainz feeling racy, but uh, no need to race at all. Frustrated, uh, however, for Racing Point's Edge of Perez, he appeared to squeeze Kevin Magnussen's Haas, uh, who finished 19th towards the wall at the exit of turn 21. The two drivers just in position on the slow laps. She was noted the incidents, both drivers summoned after the session, and at the moment of recording this, uh, there is no uh, decision at the moment, so we'll stay tuned for that tomorrow morning uh, in the Saturday practice report. We'll get that straight away. Or oh, if you're listening on the podcast, you'll get it in a minute. But I tell you, uh, the Alfa Romeo pair of Kimi Raikkonen and Tony as he split the racing points of 15th. Raikkonen set the fastest FP2 time here for Ferrari last year, uh, finished 16th and 6 tenths off the top 10 this year. Grosjean, yeah, he was all right. Spun at turn three, just ahead, finished just ahead of his teammate. Of, well, and let's start that again, shall we? Because Grosjean spun at turn three uh, and was just ahead of the Williams pair. Of Russell, whose teammate, who's retiring from Formula One, rounding out the standings in 20th place. See, my script needs to be bigger <laughs> for me to see. I'll need to wear glasses. Verstappen, however, as uh, I've got something else coming onto the iPad, Verstappen and Hamilton already spanning uh, the Friday sessions absolutely dominantly and uh, qualifying gets underway tomorrow. It looks to be absolutely close. And the only representative session is FP2. It's going to be a fight between Mercedes and Red Bull, it seems. Let's take a look at the times from FP2. So Lewis Hamilton tops the second practice session at a 138.773. Max Verstappen is second at 138.957. Sebastian Vettel is third at 139.591. Valtteri Bottas fourth on a 139.894. And then we get Alexander Albon rounding out fifth on a 139.943. Charles Leclerc is sixth on a 140.018. 
Carl Sainz 7th, 140, 145. Nico Hulkenberg 8th, 140, 324. Lando Norris is 9th on a 140, 361. Pierre Gasly rounds out the top 10 once again on a 140, 637. Danny Kvyat is 11th on a 147, 13. Danny Ricciardo 12th on 148, 11. Sergio Perez 13th at 14875, Martina Giovinazzi 14th at 141128, Lance Stroll 15th at 141128, Kimi Raikkonen is 16th at 141232, Roman Grosjean 17th at 141392, George Russell 18th at 141445, then we get Kevin Magnussen 19th at 141564, Robbie Kubica in 20th rounding out the grid at 142177. Right, weather guide. Well, the rainstorms are always in the air this weekend, so we could pretty much equal to because because we're racing at night, it always seems to change. So at the moment, it's rain for qualifying in the race, but it might turn dry later on throughout the day. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for the Saturday practice review at 1.30, and you can get underway as well with us on Sunday at the earlier time of 1 o'clock for the Sunday race preview. From us all here, though, it's Hamilton versus Verstappen for dominance in Singapore. What will qualifying bring tomorrow? Join us for the FP3 report at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Bye for now.